Last night in Atlanta, the Joseph and Evelyn Lowry Institute held their annual event, which recognizes the birthday of the Reverend Dr. Joseph Lowry, the 96th birthday, one of our civil rights advocates. Uh, they honored a number of great people. Our cameras were there, and now you are. I just really want to take a moment um, to honor, um, as Cheryl said, the man of the hour. It is his 96th birthday. And yes, let's please give it up for Reverend Lowry. For you, Reverend Lowry, Lowry, to utilize your birthday two days from now um, to celebrate folks like me is so humbling. And I just want to thank you for everything that you've done to allow us to stand on your shoulders and for using this special time to celebrate us. We just honor you and I thank you. I dedicate this award to the victims of the terrorist shooting, I'm going to call it what it is, in Las Vegas. I dedicate this award to the victims of Hurricanes Irma and Maria in Puerto Rico and to our brothers and sisters in the Virgin Islands. I dedicate this award to every single black life that mattered, that matters, and that will matter. I dedicate this award to everyone taking a knee who knows we weren't considered in the Declaration of Independence. We weren't considered in the national anthem or in the flag. I dedicate this award to the resistance. Love looks like protecting justice and freedom. Love will always trump hate, no pun intended, because it's not funny. I ask you all to stand with us, to resist y'all. It's time not to just stay woke, but to work woke. God bless. Hey, Fi, I see you rolling, Martin. How you doing, sir? Atlanta, what's happening, y'all? ATL, how you doing, Atlanta? This is a historic city and a historic time. Atlanta, how you doing? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling full tonight. Now, I specifically asked not to get my award after Angela Rock, because y'all not going to have me come up here after the wokers of the woke, and I don't have a lot of SAT words for y'all. But Angela, I appreciate you. I'm here, I'm honored to be here, my amazing wife is here. Heather, thank you so much for coming out and supporting me always. <laughs> Baby, I just want you to look at me the way Dr. Lowry looks at Angela Rye. That's all, that's all I want. That's all I want at the house, okay? I'm just going. <laughs> I am so truly honored and so truly humbled. I'll tell you, you know, sometimes you gotta take a step and realize how far we have come, right? Sometimes you have to take a step back and realize that the real warriors, the real people that overcame true injustice, that paved the way for people like myself and Angela Rye, are this legend that's on the stage, Dr. Lowry. I can only imagine I can only imagine, Dr. Lowry, what it was like during your time, and if I could just do a fraction, if me and my generation can have a fraction of the impact that yours had, we will be in a better place. You gotta make the journey, and that's what Dr. Lowry did. That's why I'm so honored to be here, to be a part of an amazing event. Let's not take anything for granted. If anything has been taught to us over these past few months, it's that tomorrow is not promised, Today is a blessing, and we need to live it to the fullest. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to thank my baby daughter, Cheryl, for the meaningful job she's doing as director of the Lowry Institute. I want to thank her. And then I want to thank each of you for your generous support of this event and of the work of the Lowry Institute. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dr. Lowry. Happy birthday to
Reverend Lowry, 96 years. Can't believe it. I think they made a mistake. I think it's really 86. <laughs> How important, though, is it not just celebrating your birthday, but Angela Ross said it's amazing that on your birthday you would still honor and recognize those out here who are doing amazing work. Well, that's been the goal of my life, to help lift those who ought to be lifted, including you. And I appreciate your presence here, appreciate your work that you do from day to day. You keep us informed, you keep us aware of what's happening in the world, and I want to thank you. Well, I appreciate it. You've seen a whole lot in your 96 years. Uh, what would you tell black folks in this age of Trump, in this age of madness, what they should be doing? Well, there's never been a time when we should be more united. There's never been a time we should be more together. And I'm appreciative of the fact that so many black folks are coming together, expressing in their own way determination to move forward and to let the good time roll. It was at this point 50 years ago we were in the final eight to nine months of Dr. King's life. Uh, April 4th, 1968, 2018 will mark the 50th uh, anniversary of when he was assassinated. For you, thinking back to those days, thinking back to the lead up to that, um, what really stands out that this generation needs to know? Well, we need to know that emulating Martin Luther King's personality and his commitment to justice is one of the best things we can do. It's not enough to put his picture on the mantelpiece, on the dresser. It's more important to put his life to work in our own lives and in our witness for truth and justice and letting justice roll down like waters and righteousness like the mighty stream. What do you most miss about him? Well, what, what do you most miss about him? Well, his, his spirit, his intelligence, and his integrity. He was an humble man in spite of all his gifts and abilities, he was humble. And he used his humility to reach out and touch the lives of common people and poor people. And I thank him for that. The days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us, he wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no! no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.